Hey everybody, it's Nicole from Shape It Up Fitness, and you can hear my dog barking in the background. <laughs> um, I am outside, and one of the disadvantages of working at home is sometimes I don't leave the house, and um, sometimes that's a good thing, especially in the winter, but on a beautiful day like today, I wish I had known how beautiful it was. Anyway, so um, uh, today I am talking about how food, no foods are off limits. Before we dive into that, if you are interested in working with me and getting a program together for you where you actually get results and you get all the tools you need to succeed, not only just for the weight loss, but permanently for life, go ahead and head over to shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L. Just jump on a quick phone call with me and I'll be happy to help you out and give you some guidance. So one of the things that um, I teach my clients is there are no foods off limits. And the reason why that is, is because if you love chocolate and you came to me and I said, you can't ever eat chocolate again, sorry, nope, not happening, what would you do? First of all, you would be like, okay, this is what I need to do and I need to sacrifice and I need to deprive myself and no more chocolate, I can do this. And then that might last depending on how much you like chocolate, <laughs> it might last for about five minutes. And then you will hunt down chocolate within a five mile radius of wherever you live and you will order and consume all the chocolate that you can get your hands on. So when I teach this, that no foods are off limits, it is kind of freeing, freeing and it helps you to kind of not pigeonhole yourself into eating certain types of foods. Because if you are following me for any length of time, you know that you can eat, technically, Twinkies and Ho-Hos and chocolate all day long. And as long as you're eating less than what you're burning, you are going to lose weight. Now, how you want to feel and look depends on what types of food you're going to eat. So keep in mind when you start one of the latest and greatest new diets that you are going to be very rigid and you're going to feel like you're sacrificing. You feel like you're white knuckling it all the way through. And it may work. But unless you change it and make it a lifestyle. It's not going to be permanent. So if you are going to pick a diet. You better pick one that you can do for the rest of your life. So if you want help putting all this together. And really doing a program that has nothing to do with diets. No crazy diets. No insane workouts. Um, I do provide workouts for you, but they're not like these crazy, insane things that you need to do um, in order to get where you want to get. It's surprisingly shocking that you can do a lot less than what you probably think you can and still get the results you want. So if you're interested in working with me, go to shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L. Just jump on a phone call with me and we will help you, guide you, and see what we can do. All right, and that is all for me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I know I've been churning out a lot of um, live videos lately, so please let me know if you're enjoying them. I'd love to hear your feedback. You can put it in the comment section below. And if you have a suggestion for a topic, happy to hear that too. All right, thanks so much for watching, and if you have any questions, um, leave them below. All right, I will talk to you later. Bye.